What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video here at Red Dirt Reptiles. For those of you who don't know who I am, better go watch some of my old videos. And for those of y'all joining us back, let's get right into it. What's up? Okay, so let's let's cover some, I don't know, misconceptions about our last video. Granted, I know it's been a while, so I'm going to try and think back to the last one we did, which was Ice Cube, My Son's Ball Python. Um, listen, it... I'll say snakes in general one of the major misconceptions is that you're never going to be able to handle it or that it's going to grow up and it's going to want to eat you and be mean and eat your children okay let's be very clear that a snake cannot eat anything larger than the biggest part of its body okay so unless you encounter a full-size anaconda And if you are on the mindset that you're going to get eaten, please go school yourself in the idea of snakes and the facts behind them. No snake lays next to you and sizes you up and eats you, okay? I mean, that's just stupid. Again, they can only eat the size of the biggest part of their body, which means if I take this right here, okay, and this is the biggest part of my snake, guess what they're gonna get down? A flipping squirrel or a small rabbit. That's about the biggest. A jumbo rat, yes. Anything bigger than that, you're out of your mind. I can't stick my boxer in front of my 12-foot retic and think that my retic's gonna eat the damn thing. It doesn't work like that. Ball pythons are no different. Males get about four foot long, females up to six foot long. On average, you're gonna see anywhere between four to five and a half foot. You're not ever gonna have to worry about that thing eating anything other than something this big around. Ever in its entire life. This will be probably a jumbo rat's about the biggest you will ever feed your animal. And if you feed it a jumbo rat, you won't have to feed it for a month. Seriously. They're Snakes, again, aren't your enemy. You know, religion uh, throughout society has given the snakes a bad name. We call them serpents. They're uh, so misused and uh, mislabeled as these evil, evil things. It's funny that the serpent is the animal chosen to have delivered the neglectful word to uh, Adam and Eve and caused them to jump ship on God's orders. Even if that was the case, it's funny that he chose a serpent uh, or a snake. They're not bad. I can tell you that uh, I recently had one of my retics rented for two hours uh, by a church so that they could use her in the portraying of Adam and Eve in the garden uh, getting talked to by a serpent. Um, it was relatively nuts to watch. Uh, but you know, nobody there treated my snake as if it was indeed an evil being. Um, but the reverence behind that really sucks. Snakes are very misunderstood. I think they're one of the most highly misunderstood reptiles. Uh, people are so super scared of them because they think uh, every little snake across the planet is poisonous. And just because it's big doesn't mean it's going to strike. And just because it strikes doesn't mean it's going to kill you. There's just ways to be about smarter. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I really don't have a ton that I'm going to talk about as far as ball pythons. Uh, how about this? One, one more thing. They call a ball python a ball python because it curls itself up into a little ball and it stays like that all the time. Very rarely do you see a ball python just hanging out, stretched out. And when you do, they're sunbathing, getting heat, about to eat, something like that. Nine times out of ten, you're going to find them curled up, which is why they're called ball pythons. Just a quick fact. We'll catch you all in the next video. Stay tuned. Thanks again. Love you all. Welcome back. Hey, thanks for sticking with me through another video here at Red Dirt Reptiles. If you all like what you all are seeing, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Let me know I'm doing good. And I'll continue to put out awesome videos for y'all. Hope to see you around on the next one. Thanks again.